Hi guys, this is Dane with CVF Off-Road. Today we're going to be installing our Legion Series bumper on the rear of this 2020 Chevy Silverado. These instructions will work for any 2020 to 2023 Chevy 2500 or 3500 pickup. The first thing we're going to do is disconnect the connectors for these two pieces here, as well as the connectors for the wiring harness underneath the truck. So let's start by getting under the truck. So we'll use a screwdriver here to pry, press on each one of these little tabs that holds these brackets in place. You can see it'll pop right out. Next, we'll move over to the piece for our trailer brakes and trailer lights. Squeeze on that clip, give it a pull out, should remove itself there. And then there's two clips on each side. Press those in and then push it forward away from the truck. Should start to pop out. Leave him there for now. Disconnect the main plug here from our harness. Once those pieces are disconnected, we can move on to removing the rear support braces from each side of the rear bumper. So we have a 21 millimeter bolt up top, a 13 millimeter bolt on the bottom. It's usually easier to start with the top. It's kind of a tight space, so like extension and a short socket will do the trick. Just take your time. Now that, that bolt's loose, we can take it the rest of the way off with our fingers and move on to the smaller bolt. Once that's finger loose, you can finish taking it off of your fingers, support the other hand so you don't drop it on your nugget. Go ahead and slide that guy out of place. Repeat on the other side. Once that bracket's off, we have two bolts to remove on each side for the rear bumper. Go ahead and take that bottom one all the way off. And we'll take that top one loose to where a few threads are still holding it in place. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. At this point, your bumper should be loose, ready to come off. We'll go ahead and remove the sensor behind the license plate, and then we'll get the bumper off. Go ahead and remove this bracket for our rear sensors. There we go. And then this will be pushed through. Remove these, push down on each clip. Should pop right off. Set this aside, we'll use it later. The only thing left holding the bumper on now is gonna be the two nuts that we left on finger tight. So I'll support the bumper with one hand. I take each nut loose from each side. Now you can carefully slide the bumper back and off. You can see we've already started removing some of the plastic clips that hold the wiring harness in place on this bumper. We're gonna reuse the entire wiring harness on our new bumper. So go ahead and remove these clips so the wiring harness starts coming out on our license plate lights. You see how we clipped our wires already? Go ahead and clip them there. We're gonna reuse the factory harness and then splice the new ends on for the new LED lights for your license plate that are included in the kit. Once we have this harness loose and removed, we can now move over to our, our rear blind spot sensors seven millimeter wrench or socket. Slide this guy up out of the way. Push this clip up. And then press down to release this. We'll release the sensor using that same seven millimeter wrench or socket. Hang on to these, we'll be installing them in the new bumper. Now the blind spot sensor's out of the way. We have two parking sensors on each side on this bumper. We can go ahead and just pry these back and remove each sensor. Harness will then slide out of the bumper. We can go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side. Now 
I can set that aside to be used with the new bumper. The next thing we'll do is go ahead and install the rear bumper support brackets. So we'll start by removing this 21 millimeter bolt on the bottom of the frame. Now that, that bolt has been removed, we'll go ahead and install our frame support bracket. Now this bracket does matter what side it goes on. It'll only go on one way. This ear will face towards the center of the truck. And we'll reinstall that bolt back where it came from. And it only needs to be snug for now. Next is our bumper mounting bracket. Both sides are identical. Just make sure this side and not this side and this side is facing the center of the truck when it's installed. Grab the supplied half inch bolt and washer. I'll go through that frame support bracket. And then here. And we'll lock it in with a, another washer, a lock nut. Once the top bolt started, we can go ahead and get the bottom bolt started. They are slotted. So we'll start at the center of the slot. Move on to the driver's side. Go ahead and remove that same bottom bolt for your hitch on the frame. Since it's removed, we can install our support bracket. Finger tight. Have our snug again, make sure we're level. And in the center of the slot, should be good there. And torque them down. Your printed instructions will include torque specs for all bowl sizes. And then lastly, we'll tighten up that 21 millimeter bolt on the frame. Now that we've got our new bumper laid out, we'll go ahead and get our license plate lights installed. Uh, this is a little bit easier time to do it than trying to do it while it's on the truck. So we'll go ahead and slide these into each point. Remember the light faces back towards you if the bumper's facing down or towards the license plate. Feed the wires through. Bolts through. Lock nuts. And then we'll snug them down. Some will repeat to the next side. Now we can take our factory harness, put it in our bumper. Remember the factory harness connector side is gonna be on the passenger side. So we'll go ahead and slide these underneath. Do the same with the other side. Now we will wire in our new LED license plate lights. So we'll strip each wire back. These nice and clean. We've got some waterproof butt connectors that have heat shrink built into them. Pink to green. Black to black. Throw a little heat at them. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Give us a nice tight weatherproof seal. All right, those are sealed up. We can go ahead and attach our harness. And as you can see, we've installed a couple little plastic stick-on clips to hold the harness in place. These zip ties don't need to be super tight. You still want a little bit of mobility in the uh, harness. So just snug enough to where you can still give her a little wiggle. Now that the harness is in, this is a good time to grab a friend to help you install the bumper. Bumpers sit really snug to the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of blue masking tape along the inside edges of the bumper, just to help give the paint a little protection in case it rubs the body of the truck. Bumper's ready to go on. We'll start by putting these clips in place. We'll slide right into the side here. There's one on each side for now. And then when we go and place the bumper on, the bumper where the CVF logo is will actually rest right on top of here. 
help give us a little bit of support. Take your time, be careful. We don't want you to scratch your truck, right? There we go. We can go ahead and install our bracket for our opposite side. Now we can go ahead and snug a couple of these up. We don't need to go tight, tight here. Same thing on the other side. Now that the bolts are snug, the bumper will still move side to side. Equal the gaps on each side. Once you are satisfied with the gaps, torque the bumper nuts. Bumper's installed, bolts are tightened, it's gaps, hard stuff's done. And now we're onto the finishing pieces. Getting these inserts installed. We'll start with our blind spot uh, sensors. Uh, goes in each corner. Uh, let's see, the uh, flat the curved side goes out. We marked our driver's side with a D, so we remember which side was which. The side on this adapter bracket with the part number will face in towards the truck. So these two pins slide down inside here. Screw will line up with that hole. Put the screw in place. Snog him down, doesn't need a ton. We'll go ahead and take one screw, run it through our cover plate, just to have him ready. Attach our plug. Don't forget to lock by pressing that forward. Now that we're lined up, we can grab our plate, the screw we put in place, thread him on. Passenger side. On the centerpieces. Your bumper has rear parking sensor. These plates will go in next. Or we have blank plates. We also have plates that you can put lights into. Uh, in this case, we're going to re reinstall the uh, factory parking sensors. Remove the factory parking sensor clips from the factory bumper. I'll go ahead and install um, bezel side out. This will be the outside. Part number on the bracket will face the inside of the truck. Now those pins are installed, our little plastic retainers are installed. We can now install the sensors. A little recess cut out here. The sensor to slide into. Should clip right into place. And we'll go ahead and kind of walk them inside. Eyes in place. And run our fasteners in. Once they are all in, you can tighten inside out, just like we've been doing on the previous pieces. These are pressed in nice. Move on to the passenger side. On to the last part. Final steps will be replacing the uh, new license plate and bracket. We have two mounts on the top for the license plate itself. One in each corner for the bracket. Start by taking our top two wires here for our trailer harness, making sure we feed them through as we slide the whole bracket in. There we go. Hold him in place with one hand. Use the supplied hardware. Now that all those bolts are tight, we can take our retainer for our um, tire carrier in the back, slide him in place, slide with the longer arm, goes towards the passenger side, short little tab, driver side. Box him into place. We've got our connector for our trailer harness. Then with the orange connector on the left side, or driver's side. Neutral pin can go on the passenger side. And the two clips will lock into the side. And 
now those have both been installed. Last thing to do is reattach the plug on the back of your uh, trailer harness and also reattach the plug for your wiring harness. Crawl under the truck, hook those two pieces up, and we're ready to go. Take our factory bumper harness on top of our factory receiver, plug them back in. And we'll do the same thing for our trailer harness. Let's clip him back into place. That wraps up the installation of our rear bumper on this 2022 Silverado 2500 pickup. Again, same instructions for 2020 through 2023, 2500 and 3500 Chevy Silverados. If you have any technical questions, installation questions, reach out to us via email, phone, or check us out on our website. Thanks for watching.